the Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, in celebration of its 150th anniversary, presents our daily scripture reflection. This morning reading is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but God who makes things grow. Jesus illustrated a mystery of spiritual growth in the parable of the growing seed. He compares the kingdom of God to a farmer scattering seed on the ground. Mark chapter 4 verse 26. The one who scattered the seed may have done all that he could to care for the soil. But Jesus said the seed sprouted, whether or not that man slept in, woke up, or even understood the growth process. The landowner benefited from the harvest, though its development didn't depend on what he did or his understanding of the workings beneath the surface of the soil. We all are like seeds in the Lord's garden. In God's own time and because of his growing power scattered upon us, we mature and blossom into something beautiful. Just as the seeds need water, the rain, light, the sun, and good soil fertilizer to grow. We too need water, holy baptism, light, the Son Jesus Christ, and good soil, the Gospels, to grow. Whether we are considering personal spiritual growth or God's plan to expand the church until Jesus returns, the Lord mysterious ways aren't dependent on our abilities or understanding of his works. Still, God invites us to know, serve, and praise the grower, reaping the benefits of the spiritual maturity he cultivates in and through us. God deserves the glory for the growth of his people and his kingdom. Daily thank him for growing us spiritually and using us to serve his people as we grow in his kingdom. Brought to you by the Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, celebrating its triple